going to show you a bunch of skills that you'll have for the rest of your life that I want you to be good at, okay? Namely the knife and quick cooking. I'm not going to say nothing. quickly try and keep the ch chat down take a little bit each Have a quick... everyone needs to try this who hasn't tried this come on then so you like the stir fry yes okay how much do you pay for a stir fry when you go and get a takeaway five for a large one five for a large one 
Yeah. Welcome to the world of being able to cook for yourself, look after yourself, and save yourself money. One pound twenty per portion. Uh, okay. What would that plate you just right. Do you know? Of course, if you buy the food, you know yeah. where it comes from. Yeah. Okay. You're not eating a load of old scrote or dodgy old stuff as well. Okay. Uh, also, how long did that take me from start to finish? Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Not even. Five minutes. Can any of you go from home to get a takeaway and back home again and eat it no. quicker? I'm, so, I'm sitting here to the restaurant. Okay. So forgive me for being bullshit, but am I quicker and cheaper than a, than a takeaway? Right. Would you like to be? Would you like to be quicker and cheaper than a takeaway? Let's join the club. I'm going to teach you the three methods of chopping today. You may well cut yourself badly. Oh and scar yourself for life if you don't listen to me as your friend, OK? Are you going to listen to me? Yeah. OK, these skills you will learn today will set you up for life. Right, this eight, nine, ten-inch chopper, right, <laughs> right, you need to be able to use this. <laughs> right, this is 90% of your cooking life, OK? So this is important, yeah? When, when you go uh, to shops or you go and look on websites and stuff like that and they show you knives, what do you notice? They're shiny. They're shiny. <laughs> when, they're selling, when, when they're selling you a kit, what does a kit look like? Oh, yeah, big one, bread knife, little ones, I know, all different knives. There's like 10, 12 yeah. knives, yeah? yeah? Yeah. Right, rubbish. Yeah. That is all you need in your world. In your world, at your level of a great, great home cook, that's all you need. That for 90% of the time. That for 5% of the time, that's a paring knife. You use that just for veggies, taking ends off, topping, tailing, right? And then a, a, a serrated knife for carving bread, you know, slightly more awkward things that need a bit of, like, jag, yeah. right? But that's not, a, that's not a graceful knife. That's helpful. That's an everyday thing. This, this is everything, OK? Regardless of how quick I go, it makes no difference to what I do. <coughs> the reason I don't cut myself is because at all times, forever, my fingers are nowhere near the blade, right? So, notice. What do you notice about my hand? Listen, what do you hear? What do you hear? Someone say it. What do you hear? Beat. You're doing every, every expressive word bar the one I'm looking for. What's this? Bang. Tap. OK. This, this is, listen, this is tap chopping. OK? This is rock chopping. And this is cross chopping. Three cuts. Of course there's more. This will get you out of all trouble for the rest of your life. Now, the good news is, I can make you as good as me on cross chopping in 45 seconds. What? Right, you will be as good as me today when you go home in 45 okay. seconds. Just listen to me. Hand at the end, right? And then it's that. Easy. Very, very easy. Right, it's safe. Your fingers are never, ever in the way. It's safe. It's the first thing I taught my kid at eight years old. Right, also, it's not just a knife and chopping. Did you see me doing that? Yes. Yeah. It's like a plasterer with his, with his cement. Centres it. If, no, if it starts to spray over here... <laughs> OK, I promise you that within one minute, you will be as good as me on that. That's not bad going, is it? No. So let's just show you cross-chopping. I took the herbs off. This is for garnish at the end. But the stalks, people throw them away, don't. Right, so you can just chop them up like that to start with, and then hand goes on. OK. You must always have sharp knives. So that's your cross-chopping. Right, now I'm just going to slice it off. This is not any particular. This is, this is just basic. This is ginger. Fragrant. Very good for you, very good for your stomach. Health-wise, really good. I'm just... Notice I'm just, just chopping these garlic up any old way. Keep your hands out of the way. Once you get it small, then we can go into cross chopping, yeah? And, and you, you basically stop when you're happy. If you want it chunky, you go chunky. If you want it small, you go small. Obviously, the difference between chunky and small is purely texture. And obviously, the smaller it chops, the more flavour you're going to get out of it. Now, I'm going to just show, I'm going to talk you through this process, and then you're going to do it, and I'm going to go around this room. I want total focus. You've got to really earn my trust today, <coughs> because, you know, ultimately, if I'm a teacher and one of you gets stabbed in my class, I'll get the sack. Guys, also, notice I'm tap just to, to use it. You can use this board. It's like an artist and a palette, you know. You can make it nice and cute. It, you know, when you're working, 
you know, you want to be organised in your head. So have a bin on your right. Work from left to right unless you're left-handed and you work the other way around. Let's go into another one. So that was... What method of chopping was this? Good. Right as buttons. The next one. Let's guess what this next one is. I want you to all get down here, right, and just move around in your own time and look at how my fingers are working. Can you all see what I'm doing? Yeah. Notice the big problem is, right, and I've learned through cutting myself, is sometimes you forget, you do it safely, but you forget your thumb and your thumb pops out oh. and, it gets, and it gets crunched yeah. off, right? And we can sew it back, right? So all, always keep the thumb at the back and that won't happen. Always keep the fingers in, right? Now, the idea as well, see this, my thumb is secure here, right? And I'm bringing my fingers back like that, but my fingers are in, yeah? Now, the speed in which I pull this back... It all depends on the speed is the No, no, it's not... not no. Cos cause I won't want you to go fast. You will not go fast today. You'll go at a nice pace, right? But what I'm trying to say is, when I... If I go like that, and I, and I, and I pull my fingers back quickly, you get chunky bits, yeah? yeah? Yeah. But if you want fine bits, you pull it back slowly, OK? Now, listen, see at the end, it's a bit vulnerable here. It's moving around. When, when things feel vulnerable, it means you're going to cut yourself, right? So that's a bit wobbly, right? So if something's round and it's wobbly, what can I do to correct that? Just take the end off like that, then it's flat. That's one thing. And just look after one bit instead of... OK? OK, and it's vulnerable now. Flap onto the flat side. That's tap chopping, OK? I'm going to take one bit of pepper, one bit of yellow pepper. Now, listen, if I try tap chopping, I, I probably could make it work, but it, can you see it's snagging, it's pushing yeah. down, and that's because the skin's quite tough. So, to be safer now, fingers are still in, thumbs still out of the way, I'm rocking, right? And I'm not rocking up here, because then you will take your fingers off. Gentle, gentle. And that is, that's going to go through nice things with skin, no problem, right? So this is nice, sandwich. this is rock chopping, right? I'm going to rock chop this mu mushroom, because it's a little bit soft, OK? And chilli. Uh, this, this would be rock chopping as well. You add as much chilli as you want. When I'm in my kitchen, look, how you doing? You all right? Good. I can be going super quick. I can look at every one of you in the eye. I can look at every single one of you around the kitchen because I know what's going on in my hand. And, and by the way, I didn't take my blade anywhere above this knuckle. It was always within that. No matter if it's high or low, cucumber, courgette or pepper, your hand just goes up with it. Cross chopping, hands on top. Guys, just take a second to look at yourself and see how good you are right now. Um, Henry, crack on, brother. Just show us. This is after like two minutes of chopping. He's chopping like he's he's chopping like a real chef, right? That's a good tip. Well done. Fantastic job. Now you can move on. You got a plaster there. Yeah. When did you do that? How? I made a stupid mistake. Went like that. Okay, lovely. Everyone, can you look this way? Everyone, please explain what you just done to the class. I had the knife like this and I was doing the cross chop <laughs> and then I uh, run my finger down it to get all the stuff off of it. OK, and... so, if I, if I said, do you want to go raving on the end of a cliff, would you come with me? Yes. Really? Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, God, I wish I was 16 again. Um, guys, guys, as I said, you will never, ever cut yourself if you... Don't put your finger near the blade. Never ever wipe the blade. Once you've done your cross chop, then we're going to get the, the, the courgette and do the tap chop. I'm not touching it. What do you mean you're not touching it? No way. Well, it's only a courgette. Use your fingers to stabilise this. If it's really wobbly, then you just take the edge off and make it flat. Carry on, carry on over delivering, guys. Guys. This is British, British school children can do this in half an hour. But look how organised you are. I'm really proud of you. All I would say is pull your hair back next time, otherwise you end up with like a bit of um, hair in your dinner. Now, like, look over here at my main man. That's it. When you finish your dish, bring it up to me. You got it. It's brilliant. Everything is there, apart from salt and acid. Now, try it now. Mix that up in front of me. 
Right now, mix it up. Right. And it's just, you've got to train your palate to hit those notes. Now try it. It's called, that's called seasoning. Yeah. Yeah. And slightly less honey next time. You get where I'm coming from? That is mm -hmm. so good. You would pay money for that. Yeah? Yeah, you're, you really impressed me. Really impressed me. Thank you. I'm absolutely over the moon. Can you believe you're doing this? Yeah. Can you believe you can do it this well? Yeah. Yeah. Go on. Come on. Yes, yes. Come on. Let's go. No, come on, come on. Let's do it. How's your tossing? Yes, that's it. Yes, 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 yes. Look at that. Dude. I mean, apart from all the old jizz around the outside, but are you not proud of that? Yeah, man. Would definitely. you pay money for that? I'll pay money for that, definitely. Right, the moment of truth. Yeah. Now, look, I can Truthfully, truthfully. No, 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 I'm, don't worry about that. The meat, I can tell, is cooked beautifully, as yeah. is the veg. Yeah. The texture's perfect. The flavour. Yeah. Slightly too tight. It's very good. I'll pay for it. Yeah. Eat it. Slightly too much honey. Yeah. Not enough lime. It's a bit more line to cut through, yeah? Mix it up now and have another go. Mix it up properly. Anyone else got theirs finished? Come and see me. Anyone else got theirs? Bring it up. Again, presentation, really good. The balance of flavour we'll see. You try. Slightly lacking in soy sauce. The uh, salt. I was about to put more in as well. Uh, yeah, no, but that's why you've got to try it. Mix it all up with that. I'm so proud of you. You did a great job. And technically, you look the business. Nice one. Off you go. Listen, I don't want to be under the... <clears throat> I don't come into teaching you thinking that I know better. But from a personal experience, I thought that you guys were brilliant today. I thought you focused today. I think you surprised me today. I'm so proud of you right now. I really mean that. Not one of you did a crap job. The negative, and it's negatives are so important in cooking and, frankly, life. Right? I'm proud of you. You've all done a great job. Quite a lot of you, there was only about two, right? His was one of them that was spot on seasoning. And what I mean, what I mean, yeah, let's give him a clap. Give him a clap. Uh, there was very subtle difference between his and yours. It's because he obviously tasted it, unless it was a mistake or his instinct. He went, right, is the chilli there? Right, there was enough chilli there. Right, OK, the soy salt, is there enough salt there? OK, the honey, not too much too... You guys, just, just hit the seasoning and, and the acid a little bit more and you can really pimp your ride. Also, having the bravery to have the pan really screaming hot gets you this charred meat that we want, you know? So, listen, for your homework today, um, it's going to be in the fridge. At the end of school, come and get your homework. It's the same recipe for you to go and cook at home, and I want, you, I want you to be proud of yourselves and go and show your people.